Welcome to the next chapter in my star mining adventure. We conquered free to play, completing 99 mining and beginner clue scrolls only mining stars. Now it's time to take it to the next level, completing every clue scroll collection log while getting 200 million mining XP and attempting to make history, becoming the second ever person to get an onyx from a bag full of gems. Join me on part two of this insane adventure. Welcome back to episode 13. We're starting out this episode with some casket, which will give us enough fragments to unlock the ability to do our first hard clue scroll. We only need two more fragments to reach 200, which we can get from a single medium casket. But instead, we have four mediums and four easy caskets to open. So we can grab ourselves some additional fragments for any exception steps that we come across in the hard tier. Let's see what we can get from these. I will start with the easies as always. Starting off with a double collection log, Cyberrock page one, pantaloons, and three uniques I just noticed, but apparently we already have the black helm. That puts us at 201 fragments already. Into another collection log, wow. A black plate body H5, and a couple of coins. Oh, that's a rare. Team Cape Eye, that is the first rare I've seen from an easy clue. That is awesome. And for the last casket, nothing but i mean that's fine we just got a team cape eye that is pretty cool now for the medium clues maybe with this luck we can get ourselves the first boots on this account straight into a log slot for some elegant we take that that is some of the rarer items nothing in the second nothing in the third and finally 18 law runes we take those and some green dehyde chaps in case we need some more of those because we keep having to buy them how awesome well all of those clues brought us to 215 fragments so we can take away the 200 leaving us with 15 and we can unlock the ability to do hard clues on the account do you like old school runescape music need some short background music to game too well i'm currently working on a second channel called old school runescape music medleys i've put a ton of work into it already so please go over there and drop that channel subscription as well and look out for future uploads thank you just like in previous tiers i've made a graphic that outlines all of the hard clue emote steps that i can do and can't do and why as you can see, a lot of the steps are unfortunately quest locked. Out of the 16 emote steps, I can only complete 5 of them. 3 of the emote steps are in the wilderness, so I won't be doing those. My status is important to me. This tier, only 2 of the steps need exceptions, being the room full helm and the blue dehyde chaps. I can get the helm from hard clue scrolls, if I'm lucky, before getting the step, but the chaps will require me to venture back over to the blue dragons to make the chaps. Additionally, I also need to get lucky on two other hard clue items for these emote steps, being the Rune Heraldic Shield and the Rune Axe. So those steps will be locked until I manage to get those from other hard clues. I don't need to train my stats any higher for any of these items requirements in this tier, so I'll only be training magic when I need to kill anything, the magic levels and hit points levels. Just as a reminder, I required 100 fragments to unlock easy clue scrolls, 200 to unlock medium clue scrolls, so it's only right that now I must collect 300 fragments in order to unlock elite clue scrolls. Hard clue completions will give me 3 fragments, an additional 1 fragment once again. They are definitely going to be a challenge to complete, but I do love a challenge. I made some charts outlining the steps in each tier that I can do on this account. The first table being without priest in peril, and the second being with the quest completed. Priest in Peril makes easy clues a 100% completion rate, which is amazing, giving me access to the last step in that tier. As for mediums, it unlocks an additional 15 steps, which is huge, in my opinion, making only 36 steps not possible. I've had to drop so many medium clues, so that is going to be really nice. As for hard clues, which are the most important right now, I get access to another 8 steps. It isn't a huge amount, however, with hard clues being even more steps than mediums and them having so many quest locked steps, I will happily take the 8. We also can only do just over 50 of the total steps anyways. We aren't anywhere near elite clues just yet, but I included those anyways. They're going to be a huge challenge, with only 97 out of 189 completable steps, even with Priest and Pearl unlocked. But that's for a future worry. Before we get into the first official hard clue attempt, 
let's flash you the current collection log at the beginning of the new year. Oh yes, happy new year everyone. A perfect time to drop this channel a subscription. That was a bit cheeky, but really, please subscribe. Of course, we have completed beginner clues so long ago now with 2024 completed. I just love seeing those stack up at this point. Easy clues, we are at 195 and we just got our first cape, which is amazing. Mediums, we are on 44. No boots just yet, but they will start to go up much faster once we do Priest in Peril. And Hard and Elite, of course, we are on zero. Oh, and the Shared Log, we're on 39 out of 49. And we've done 2,263 in total. I guess now it's time to attempt our first Hard Clue Scroll. The first step is easy peasy, which I love to see. Hards are four to six steps, up from three to five for mediums. While I wait for my run energy to come back, as the spiders down here are aggressive, I just realised I made a mistake. There is a requirement step this tier. The rune axe requires 40 attack, and for some reason I thought I already had it and I don't. That is a great level to get as well, as it means I can finally equip my rune pickaxe after so long. Silly me. Right, let's give this a go. Hopefully we don't get attacked too much. Oh, the skeletons aren't aggressive anymore. That's nice, but these will be... If you didn't know, for a mob to be unaggressive, you need to be double their combat level plus one. I taught someone that the other day. AIQ. Oh, I don't know if I can do that one. I think that might be on an island. Let's get out of here and then double check on the map. Where is it? Oh, yes, we can do that one. Yes. Let's go to must give a point. The second step has been completed. What do we get for the third? Oh, I'm pretty sure we can't do that one because it's quest locked. It doesn't even show on the map. Uh, let me look this one up. The wiki says that the giant dwarf quest must be started in order to gain access to Keldegrim. So that is a rip on this clue. Unfortunately, but we'll go get another one. No hard clue to be found yet, but I have just gotten a new medium clue step once again. I believe I have all of these in the bank, but I was wrong last time, so let me go check. Oh, yes I do. All from other medium clue scrolls, so that's cool. This is a trek of a step, but another clue step off of the list. Finally, we get a hard clue after 64k dust, but can we do the first step? Don't think I can do that one, pretty sure I need a quest or something. After some research, I have concluded, yes, I can't do it. I either need Edgar's Ruse to use the Trollheim Teleport or partial completion of the Troll Stronghold to get to the Trollheim by walking. So that fucking sucks. I guess we try again. Well, today was the current changes, which removed the favor and has given me access to the MyCart system around Sayer. I'm really looking forward to trying clue scroll stats with those and see how much less it sucks getting to those on this account. It does cost 20 GP each minecart, but worth it rather than walking from Land's End to Shazian. Yes, we got another hard clue, and it's one of the five remote steps that I can actually do. I have to kill a double agent, which is going to be a challenge with my stats, so I think it is the best possible time to get 43 prayer. I have a good amount of bones banked, but not enough for 43 unfortunately. I'm going to bury those bones, and we shall see what level I get. The Amulet of Power and Diamond Ring are super easy, so this step is ideal to get first. I have almost 600 normal bones, 2.6k big bones and 3 dragon bones, which should be, if the calculator is correct, 41 prayer, so pretty close. Now to stand and bury all of those bones one by one, then figure out how to get the rest of the XP. Well, we are now boneless, but we did get to 41 prayer, as well as we are now 60 combat, which is going to be really significant, and you'll find out why in a moment. I have been thinking, while spam clicking all of these bones, the best way for me to get the rest of the XP is going to be picking up bones. I have two options. The normal bones which spawn in Edgeful Dungeon, which can be found in this dungeon just here, or picking up big bone spawns in the giant pit, which apparently I can't search for on the map which is found in Shazian. I think I'm going to go with that one as it's going to be significantly less time. Well, this is the spot that I'm going to be using. I'm pretty sure I need just over 500 big bones to get to the level. 
I won't bother banking them as it's just extra time. I'll bury them once I get a full inventory. I said that my now new combat level was significant as these guys are level 28, which means they become aggressive and aggressive at 57 combat. 28 times 2 plus 1. And I was 55 combat before we buried the bones. So that is an extra bonus. So they are now an aggressive to me and I don't have to wait out their aggro timer which is going to make this grind so much easier. I will see you at 43 prayer. Okay, no, I don't have 43 prayer just yet. This is right after I ended the last clip. These bones actually respawn really fast. I thought I was going to have top worlds, but by the time I bury the three bones I just picked up, I think they have just about respawned. And maybe I'll pick up some little bones as well while I'm waiting just to speed up the grind doesn't matter too much what I bury as long as I'm getting XP and get to 43 prayer. Hmm, I didn't think about the fact that run energy is going to be a little bit of a problem. So now I'm walking, but I guess that's okay. I can walk and bury the bones at the same time. As you know I can't, it stalls me. Either way, I think it's going to be fine. Hey, 42 prayer coming in. I am getting almost over 5k xp per hour which is amazing i am picking up all of the bones and walking a little circle and that is going really well for me so it should be about another hour because i think 43 prayer is about 50k xp and we're gonna be done and this final bone should get us to 43 prayer there it is we can now use protect from melee and we also made a friend here as well it did make it a bit more difficult because I couldn't figure out which bones were spawns and which were his. But anyways, I feel much safer already, but I have no access to any prayer potions, so I hope I can kill the double agent with 43 prayer points. Let's do our first hard clue step. I'm going to try with my best melee setup to start with. If I'm not strong enough, I can try magic. Hopefully I can figure out how to safe spot it if that is needed. I have no idea if I'm going to be strong enough. But hopefully I am. Let's put on protect from melee. Salute and put our gear back on. Click the double agent and see if we can actually get any hits. Unfortunately I can't make the stash unit yet because I need 55 construction and I need to get some teak planks as well which I don't have. Um, This isn't going too well. I am hitting absolutely nothing. Hmm. Well, if this isn't going to work out, I should be able to mage over this fence. Merely doesn't seem to be working. If I run out of prayer, I'm teleporting out and we'll try again. Because I'm not going to die. It just regained the two hit points I've actually hit. This isn't going to work. Okay, forget this. I'm going back to the crafting guild and we are going to try maging this guy instead. Okay then, let's try this shit again. I think we'll have much better luck as a mage setup. And I remembered I can also put on a blessing for some extra prayer bonus. Pray melee, put on the items, take off some of the items, salute, get the guy to spawn and hopefully he doesn't despawn. Can I save spot him? Oh, that works. Yes. Okay. We're actually hitting. This is going to be so much better. Oh, fingers crossed. We can do the next step. Ah, okay. Apparently he unsafe spotted himself. Shit, why can I say spot this guy? Oh, this isn't gonna work, I'm out of prayer. Okay, you're gonna have to come back and try again. I don't understand why that say spot isn't working. And I also didn't bring any food, so that is very not smart on my part for being a hardcore. We go to the Forex Enclave and reset our stats. Okay then, time for round three. This time we are going to do it and I'm gonna remember to put my magic amulet back on so I have more accuracy. To do once more, put my shit back on and attack the guy. I've also brought entangle runes so I can entangle just in case I run out of prayer again. Actually hitting something, there has to be a way to safe spot him around here, right? And with the next hit, he should be dead. Yes, we can do it. And we're going to bury the bones out of respect. The first step done. Let salute once more. And please, after all this, let me be able to do the next step. No, really? That is quest locked. The Fisher Realm, can't even show you on the map. 
that is really annoying but at least we got to train our 43 prayer and it looks like we go back and get another hard clue well i need a little cheer me up after the horrendous hard clue scroll so we're going to open the caskets that i managed to collect while trying to get that hard clue scroll we managed to get eight easies and three mediums i feel like we get so many of these now because hard clues take so long we will start on the eight easy caskets we're starting off 15 fragments and we need 300 to unlock elites oh starting off strong with 7k coins we do need some coins if you didn't notice when i showed you the amount of steps i can in the hard tier one of the items costs 120k which is insane last time we opened these easy clues we got a cape so hopefully we can get some more uniques in these more coins wow okay we're getting all of the coins into a bronze plate skirt trimmed nice collection of slot for a fragment there terrible clue scroll blue elegant skirt we take that another nice collection of slot and another one one every clue oh duplicate this time and a tiny amount of coins and the last easy clue for no collection of slot but 12k coins wow that just got us 25k that do over doubled our cash stack in eight clue scrolls that's insane we're almost 50k well we take that any day and we'll open these three mediums hopefully they are just as good first one or nothing second one 27 laurens okay we definitely take those and for the final one can we get a collection of slot no we can't but oh my god another 27 law runes that is insane so many coins and so many law runes what an amazing way to end this episode don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and yes unfortunately i did see that someone got the second onyx from a gem bag well not unfortunately because i'm happy for them but also that does not mean i will be the second but maybe I'll be the third. But I do still think it's cooler to be grinding for it rather than spoon it. But there you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see me get my onyx once I spend my dust. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have you ever been walking through Varrock? Maybe making a purchase at the Grand Exchange? Sorry, I men. Or just minding your own business and you happen to right click a player and think, what the hell is that name? I bet you have. I want to introduce to you Right Click Roulette, Star Miner Edition. First up this week, we have Rectum Tester. I can't imagine why you would need to be testing those, but uh, each to their own. Next up we have Bofa Me Cock. I like the use of the in-game item on this one, but I'm not a fan of the spelling of cock. Also, how would you bow for that? Now we have Nanshaga 1. I remember when Nanshaga names became popular, but they died off, or at least so I thought. Either way, you enjoy yourself, and Nans don't have to be old nowadays. A name you'll recognise now, Justin Bieber. Must have been a difficult name to get a hold of, or rather an expensive one. Pretty cool if it was Justin, but I'm sure he doesn't have enough time for this. Next up we have Dirty Stinky P. I think there might be a P missing off of this name. It is well known that RuneScape players only shower on Wednesdays, so an accurate name I'll say. Finally we have Sex for Pizza. I've been around long enough to know there is little people won't do for sex, but for pizza? Now that's true love. It's okay though, we all know RuneScape players don't have sex. If you enjoyed this new little segment, drop this video a like and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. I would like to say a big thank you to those who joined my YouTube membership. My low tier implings, Cedra Hops and Radish Boy for becoming high tier implings, and a special thank you to Davey for becoming a rare tier impling. I really appreciate the additional support. If you'd like to join my channel, then the button can be found next to the subscription button below the video. Thank you again.